morning. It's Thursday the 10th of March and I'm gonna try and hold you as far away as possible because I haven't got any makeup on and I've got a huge spot on my nose. Great introduction, can't be beaten. So last night um, we went to somebody's house to see if they had any items to sell and I'm just gonna give you a little quick tour of the piles of stuff. So down here I've got a few Harrods teddies and stuff underneath which I'm not even sure what. A nice little sewing table. On my counter I've got a lampshade to go with a lamp that I bought and a box of sewing stuff. You know I love sewing stuff. And some silver plate. A box of prints and there's a mirror in there as well. And a table that needs a little bit of gluing so that's going upstairs for now. And then over here is the rest of it. There's some CDs and some cushions. A lot of glassware and some old bow ties, some cutlery boxes, lots and lots of glassware. I love this, the old Rio blocks, some little opera glasses, and there's the lamp that goes with that lampshade. So I've got a lot of stuff to move before I open up the shop. It's about seven o'clock and I thought I'd come down. I've not put all my thermals on yet because if I'm lugging all this stuff around, I'm gonna to get too hot. So I thought I'll move this all now, then I'll get ready in my thermals for work. Um, and then after work tonight, I've got to go and pick up some more stuff. Uh, it's about quarter to eight and I have finished clearing all that space, way. Um, it's all tucked away in corners and under the counter and out the back and all that sort of stuff. So, um, now I'm going to get myself ready for work. Made myself some breakfast some porridge with added chia seeds and ground linseed and some blueberries and banana. Then it's about quarter to ten now and um, I'm down in the shop as you can see. I'm not feeling quite, quite organised because I haven't done my lists. <laughs> Didn't sit and make my lists and write my gratitude list either. So I think I'm going to do that first before I start, seeing as I'm here 10 minutes early. I just had to put that lamp over there to get it off my counter. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? I think maybe the shade needs straightening. List is made. Um, I'm tired before I even start today, but let's get going. Shall we have a look at some of the things that I got in? Last night. First things first, I feel like I need a new fragrance for my wax melts and I'm going to go back to my old favourite lemongrass and ginger because I feel like I need a, a zing today and I think the lemongrass and ginger is going to give me that zing. and the shop will be smelling gorgeous. Right, pulled out the first crate. Shall we see what we've got? We've got a silver plated tray. I don't think it's got any maker's mark on it, no. There's a silver plated teapot. Seems in nice condition. There is, no, I can't make it out, apart from EP. Not one I recognise, but I wonder if that sits on that tray. And then the little jug. And like a little sugar bowl. So maybe they can sit on that tray. I'm not sure if they went together or not, but they fit quite nicely. So maybe I'll sell them together. Um, a planter, a fairly modern one, but it's quite a nice one, I think. It's like, um, what do you call them? Alliums. Nice, isn't it? Nice colour as well. There's a little rose bowl vase thing. Is there any maker's mark on there? Oh, something. 
I think it's that I am. I am. I am. It's always that weird, so it doesn't really feel like you can pronounce it. Yeah, I A M T H E. How would you pronounce that? I am. Anyway, Ianth. That one. That's what that's made by. These are beautiful. I've got a pair. Silver plated. Have they got to make a mark? Lego shoe. Something there, but it's quite worn, so I can't. Made in England. Something Ellis, it looks like. Barker Ellis, maybe? I'll have a closer look at those. But they're gorgeous, nice and heavy. A couple of pairs of opera glasses. So these here, and then the folding ones. I've sold a couple of pairs of these folding ones before on Etsy. So maybe that could be another Etsy listing because I've not done another one since I did that first one. And then I've got a couple of like terrines. Now these are really heavy, like properly sturdy. Look amazing on your table at kitchen at Christmas, but you'd need a a sturdy kitchen table or dining room table, I should say. Best Sheffield heavy silver plated something bod. No, can't make out what. I don't think that was the maker's mark. Okay, actually, really? let's have a look. And then there's a rectangular one. The same. So that one's slightly oval, and this one's rectangular. Can I read what this one says? No, can we make a mark on there either? But yeah, incredibly heavy decided to put that silver plate to one side because I have a feeling it's going to do better online than in my shop so it kind of makes sense to come back to that and work my way through things that I can quickly price up and get out so I've priced up the planter that'll go out um I thought I'd show you a couple more things so I've got three of these they're modern but enamel they're all the same they're all flower some they must have had a lot of flower um but I'll get those priced up and out. I've got three Harrods bears. So I've got this one. It's like dressed up like a beef eater. He's kind of cute, little one. Then I've got this one from the year 2000. And I've got this one, which is from 2005. Look at him with his lovely red jumper. So I'll get those priced up and out in the shop. I do love him actually, he's gorgeous. Look at his face. It's a gorgeous red jumper. I don't need a teddy, I don't need a teddy. And then I've got this condiment set, which is really, really lovely. There are a couple of issues. Um, you see on that one, there's a chip on the, on the lip there. And that the same on that one there, but yeah, and that one as well, that one's chipped on the lip. They're all on the lip, but they all match, which is quite nice. And they sit quite nicely in there, so it's still saleable. Right, let me get a few of these things priced up and then I'll feel like I'm achieving. I can't tell you how good it smells in here. It's so nice, that lemongrass and ginger. Oh, anyway, lifts me completely. I got a couple of cushions. I don't normally pick up cushions, but they're really pretty patterned with the butterflies. Oh, that's really lovely. In fact, I might take some photos of those for inspiration for my cards. Look, with that gorgeous dragonfly. So I've got those and um, some bow ties, some like vintage bow ties. You see? And a tartan one, white one, black one, and a pink one. I've got those. And then I did show you briefly this Brio wooden block set. The lady said that this her and her brother had played with forever when they were kids. And I, we had something similar for my kids and they played with it loads. Um, the box is a little bit broken as you'd expect, but really good condition and good quality. I think the ones that we had, we'd written all over them and coloured them and all sorts of stuff, but these are really nice. So I need to find out what sort of price they sell for, really. Did I say it smells nice in here? Because it does. 
Um, I thought I'd better tackle some of the glassware. I've got quite a lot. Got a lot of like drinking glasses and some vases and things. So here we go. Ooh. I've got this heavy crystal glass vase. It's got a few glass beads in the bottom. That's why it's making that sound. And I can't see a mark on there, but I'd have to have a closer look. I noticed a couple of things have got chips in. Because um, when I was buying it, you know, when you go around a whole house, you can't individually check each item. But this one seems in good nick. So hopefully I'll check it over carefully later. Um, I've got plain glass one. Things like this go really well just because I've got a florist a couple of doors down. So sometimes people just buy flowers and then they want a vase to put it in. This one needs a good clean eye, you see? Chip. So it'll either go in recycling or in my box of help yourself for free. This one needs a good clean, but it's a nice, interesting shape. Um, it feels a little rough around the edges, but I think that might just be how it is rather than any damage. Again, it's got these glass beads in the bottom. What else have we got? Took me ages bubble wrapping loads of glassware last night. Well, that's nice. Little glass vase and it's got a yellowy green, limey green sort of hue to it in the bottom. Don't know how they do that, but that's pretty impressive. I like that. You see, that's sort of got that limey green colour to it, and then it sort of glows. You can't see it so much on the camera. In in the light of the shop, that glows a lot more. I like that. Um, I've got a decanter. I've got a stopper somewhere. That's in good nick. There's no chips there, so fingers crossed. No maker etched in the bottom, I don't think. I got the decanter lid. I've got a box of decanter lids in the back that I keep. So, aha, uh -huh, here we go. Oh, nice. No chips in the decanter lid either. And it seems to match because sometimes you get them and they don't match. <laughs> um, a tray. A nice bowl. That's a lovely shape, actually, that one. Yeah, I like that. Needs a bit of a clean, but it seems to be in nice condition. A plain square one. Yep, that's a nice, simple thing. Something else in here. A more squat crystal one. Seems to be in good nick. It's got some age to it. You can tell by all the scuffs along the bottom. Uh, needs a bit of a clean, but that's okay. A simple glass jug. And then a super heavy crystal glass jug. Again, it seems to be I don't know if it is. I think actually it's just pressed glass, but it's a nice quality one. Yeah, it's just pressed glass. Uh, you can see the seams. Can you see the seams? There. Um, but really heavy, lovely condition. And I think there's another one. Matching. There you go. That one's exactly the same. So a pair of those. Right, that's everything out there. They're all really heavy. I just had one of those chocolate and what was it? Salted caramel chocolate um, croissants again from Aldi. Very nice. Right, regarding this glassware, I'm going to clean up what I can. I've only got wipes down here. I don't have a sink, so I can't clean up. The bits that need a proper clean are going to have to go upstairs and get cleaned and then brought back down. Um, so then... I will see what's 
left to show, oh there's loads to show you but I won't be able to do it all today. So I've got the glassware that's got to go upstairs put out the back to clean. I've priced up what I can get out now so that's that. There's loads more glassware out the back like drinking glasses and stuff but of those that I showed you already. Um, the silver plate and stuff is all still down there. So I've just emptied another crate to show you the next lot of things. Found a couple more bow ties. That one is fabulous, isn't it? And a red velvet one as well. So I'm not sure. I think I sold one on Etsy before, one or two, but I can't remember, it's a long time ago. Some old collector's spoons. I haven't really paid for these as such. I just got given them because they were gonna to go to the tip otherwise, so. I grabbed those and then a nice old wooden tray with handles it's lovely isn't it an oak tray and then some canteens of cutlery so here's the first one some fish service um they're not the fastest selling things but they do go eventually and then this one, it's a heavy one. Let me show you the case. It's a little bit battered in places, can you see? And whoop, I have no idea if it's complete or not, because I haven't ooh, tried to rip it out. In fact, I think I've opened it the wrong way around. Yes, I have. <laughs> I've opened it upside down. So I'd have to check if it's all there, but it's a, like a whole canteen of cutlery. So we've got soup spoons, dessert spoons, forks, knives, all that sort of thing. And that is, where's my, oh, come on, it's all got tangled up with a price label. That is Walker and Hall. So Walker and Hall is a good make. Um, when I went last night, I didn't have my magnifying glass. I just had my glasses and I couldn't make it out. I just knew it was a container cutlery, but again, I couldn't tell if it was a full set or not. So I um, took a punt on it, happy, happy with that. I'm gonna have to repack it now though. <laughs> Serve me right for opening it up upside down. Right, and this one I've got the wrong way around. This one is a wooden container cutlery like this like a redwood how do I open this or is that the back I just turned it round it was the right way round to start with it hasn't got a, a clasp for shutting it it just opens like that you see oh that's heavy um, again it doesn't look complete if I'm honest but I might be wrong once I've sorted through it um and it also doesn't look all the same. <laughs> so I've got fish eaters and things shoved in there. I've got these teaspoons, can you see? But they don't seem to match with the others. So I think it's a, a, mis, a, mis, a mix of different cutlery, but that's fine. Um, I can sell these sort of, let me see, sorry, it's so heavy. Maybe if I can, oops, come on. These sort of knives, I can sell them on their own. So, all is good. Everything's so heavy today. <laughs> right, I am gonna crack on and do some sorting. So, uh, the mapping and web uh, canteen of cutlery, I sorted all that out and that's all complete. And then I've come to this other one and um, let me turn the camera. So these are what I've taken out, which don't seem to match. And then this is what I've got left. And then I've got some gaps, which I've got to try and work out what's missing. So there's all the knives. There's salad forks. There's soup spoons and dessert spoons. There's, dessert, um, you know, dinner forks. There's two serving spoons. There's six little teaspoons and then six of these little demi tasse teaspoons but what would be in the others so do i put in the extra serving spoons teaspoons and cake forks 
because uh, these aren't, these don't match. I mean, I can sell cake forks and that separately anyway. It's only about quarter to one and I'm shattered. It wasn't for me. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. I feel like I could do with a little nap or maybe some baraka to get me moving. I've got a little box of sewing bits which to go through, but um, I'm kind of saving it because I do like going through these kind of rummage boxes. Here we go. I've brought through another crate of glassware, as you can tell. So I've got this lovely green glass with five glasses to go with it. Do with a bit of a clean. I'll see how I get on with that. Otherwise, I might have to go upstairs. Oh, that one's got a chip. It might be four glasses. <laughs> Only tiny chip, but yeah, it's a shame. Um, a few commemorative cups. Not worth a great deal, but um, do I pick them up? With it coming up to Golden Jubilee, you never know. Um, simple little glass vase. Oh, it's etched. What does it say? Christine. Oh, it's got somebody's name on it. Don't know if I'll be able to sell that. Um, I had one of these, a smaller version. I really, really like it. And I sold the smaller version. But it needs a clean. So I might have to go out the back with my other stuff to clean. There's some of these sort of hock glasses. I've got, I think there's five of those. Don't think there's six. There's two, three. slightly different angle I want you to sit down for a minute I've had people in but nobody's spending today but I'm not going to complain it will come around in the end okay so I showed you these didn't I I think I've got a buyer for those already she's going to come in, in the next few days so I showed you the green jug and the green glasses I've got this one which has got this sort of orchid etched on it or is it painted on I don't know I think it might be a combination of the two quite grubby so I need to give that one a good clean. I've got a couple of beautiful heavy wine glasses, um, no maker. I've got a couple of these Waterford crystal glasses, rather nice. Nocturne or something I think they're called so they're lovely. A couple of little vases of little cake nests one and a little crystal one no can't see a maker on that but a little bud vase i don't know what you'd call this a banana boat <laughs> Be perfect for a huge banana sundae is that what they're called banana sundae you know what i mean banana ice cream chocolate sauce cream that kind of thing um what else you'd use it for? I've no idea. And then, cute little scent bottle with a heart. Again, that's Waterford Crystal Marquee, it says. So I should look up those. I'm going to sit here, eat my apple and um, chill for a minute. Days like today when I realise I'm not 21 anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm tired. Like I say, everything just seems so heavy today. All the heavy stuff. I'm going to round up the vlog just because I think it's going to be long enough already um, and I'll show you some more stuff either tomorrow or the next day, more than likely tomorrow. Let me know if you see anything that you really like or you've got any info that you can help me with, um, especially with that canteen of cutlery. It's just bugging me what would be in those gaps, that's all. Anyhow, uh, take care, stay safe, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.